Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here. This is what we're going to build today. Lots of interest in this uh, Twitter post that I did, um, incorporating video with uh, keynote shapes and bringing comics to life in a way that kind of gives it a new perspective. Um, really cool, really easy to do, um, and just takes it up a level from the kind of the still images with the kind of overlays. So we're going to talk through this process. So why don't we get started, uh, and we'll show you how to do this. Um, so I've got my I've got my uh, kind of video and this is the deck that I used before. You can kind of see some things here, but let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. So let's create uh, a new slide. And the first thing we're going to do is actually bring in the video. So we want the video playing on an actual uh, tap. So I'm gonna bring that in first, just so I can layer some frames on top of it. So I'm gonna resize that and kind of put it where I want it in my comic. Um, lots of royalty free videos you can get and different things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a basic rectangle shape over the top of it. Okay, and what we're actually going to do with that is use that as kind of like a picture frame or our comic frame to actually place our images and videos and so forth in it. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably go to uh, my paintbrush at the top and do a no fill. And then I'm going to increase the width of the border. I'll turn the border on to about six. And you can play around with the different styles of your border. Now I can't really see it there, so I'll make my slide background white so you can kind of see that. And so I've got the video underneath, I've got my shape over the top, um, and everything's kind of, that's kind of how I want it. Um, so I've actually moved it here a little bit. This is gonna be hard to get back on, but we'll do our little best here of uh, getting it back. And just kind of, striving for accuracy, trying to get that frame the right way. Now what I want to do is build my other frame. So what I'm going to do is just copy paste those different frames. And don't forget, it's still a shape, it just doesn't have a fill. And so I might copy that again and actually put another frame down the side. I like these comics that kind of have um, not just the two frames, but kind of a little bit of a different look about them. Uh, that's looking really good. Um, so what I need to do is, why don't we focus on the video first? And what I'm going to do is just overlay some text. So obviously, comics, fantastic if it has some text and some um, storytelling through a little bit more traditional kind of sense. So I'll put that up there. You can play around with the different styles um, of your text boxes um, and your call outs and your speech and your thinking bubbles. But for this tutorial, we'll just quickly put one there so you can see. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, the video is not playing obviously yet, uh, but that's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to overlap some crows. So my comic's about kind of crows. I'll make them black. It kind of fits in beautifully with the, the silhouette. And what I might do is I might copy another copy of it to kind of give that impression that it's kind of like the shadow on the bottom because this is drone footage um, from the top down, bird's eye view. That'll look really good if I resize it and start to play around with perspective a little bit with size of things. Now what I want to do is then I want them moving together. So I'm actually going to tap on one, hold my finger down, tap on the other and group them. And then what I can do is animate both of those. So obviously a little create path. Now I don't want it going too far here because the video footage actually keeps moving. So I actually just want it going to a spot and then maybe stopping. And then what will happen is the background underneath will keep going um, and it'll give that impression that the birds are flying still. So that's pretty cool. I'll make that transition go for about uh, five or six seconds. Um, and that's looking really, really great. We'll play that later on to see how that looks. Now. The other thing that I wanted to do is kind of fill those other two boxes. Now, instead of just bringing an image like I have there and it being all messy, you're best to delete that, tap on the actual rectangle box and do a fill. So if you go up there and a fill with a paintbrush, you can actually fill your shapes. This will allow it to look a little bit smoother and look like they're filling the frames a little bit more. Um, and I've just used some kind of zoom ins of the different footage um, some AR stuff I was playing around with just to get that impression. That looks pretty good. Three different perspectives. Um, and then I can bring in some other characters. Now this character I think that I brought in here is obviously not drawn in Keynote. Uh, it's drawn by a friend. Um, but we can flip that. It's a PNG. It doesn't have a background so it's going to look great. And I like the fact that most graphic novels and comics now have these kind of pictures that go outside the frames. And um, I love how we're starting to play around a little bit with the different ways we can use comics. Um, as well. Now I'll bring in that same crow here and let's just say we wanted our crow to have a speech bubble in there as well. We'll turn our crow to black first and then we'll insert a, a little call out. Now when you're ins inserting your little speech bubbles or talk bubbles whatever, see the little green dot? You can actually change that, the different perspectives of it. So I might make mine a little bit squarer and then play around with the little green down there. That looks a little bit better and what I can do is obviously color those in 
I can type text in there. Um, but like I did with the other two birds, um, I can actually group them together. So I might actually want them kind of moving in unison. So I can actually group those two items together. And that's looking really, really good. Um, you can see there that it's kind of all the things that I wanted. I could certainly add some more text and do some different things. But overall, it's kind of what I wanted. Um, I do need to make sure I've gone back to my first crows here and made sure that those crows are actually going to work on a build. Um, you don't want them on a tap or else it'll, it'll go and it'll just look like it's staying there. So you want these animations to happen with build one, which is the video playing. Uh, but that's looking really great. And then it's just a matter of kind of refining, adding content, thinking about your narrative and your stories that you're actually doing, adding more effects, uh, but keeping it rather simple because we can actually add obviously more slides and slides and slides uh, to get that really storytelling process going. I hope you found that really useful. Uh, it's just another way of doing things that are a little bit outside the box or inside the box um, that you might like to play with. I think the effect is amazing, especially with iPads where the kids have actually got access to high definition videos. You can also bring in things like clouds and start to play in with layers. Um, the great thing about here is if I layer this cloud down here, you can kind of see that it moves over the top and back. So if I hit my paintbrush at the top, I can arrange it in different contexts. I hope you found that really, really useful um, and you learned a few things along the way. Paul Hamilton signing off.